Chris Gaiman, Mason on the Life Stealer, Moose on the Nyx Assassin, Pepita on the Dark Seer. E home will sit on top. They get this stun in, and that'll mean that they uh, get the rune as well. One for one. Oh, and there's going to be a first blood, is it? Yes. Nothing actually happening off the back of it just yet. Oh, why in trouble? Here comes the fortunes end. Mason does get stunned, but he'll be able to get in on top of him. I bet he wishes that he had rage. Oh, why goes for the TPI? He will not find it. But Tomato, I think, senses that something is up. There isn't much happening elsewhere on the map. Maybe we continue to watch this particular gang. Here he comes, and from the side with the French tickler, pulls him in. Huh. So let's see how fast Tomato's fingers are as he tries to juke out of this. He gets one Zuck off, but the raises are there this time. Shadow Fiend is pretty much ungone. Oh, that's Capita now looking for another creep wave. Who's is here to back him up, but so is everyone else from E-Home. The pushback in under the tower does have Surge available in a little while. Should be able to get out there if it is a problem, but no, they'll get the kill regardless. Nice, Ravage from Y on to two. And they'll hunt him into the trees. That's going to be another kill for Y. Infamous, five and one at six minutes. A Wu's here now as well with a Fortune's End to keep him in place. Wu's going to go in with a Surge under the tower and in comes Pepita. That's double Iron Shell and that's a dead PA. Serenity oh, with the turnaround. Mason, what have you done? The duo. I don't think it's a good timing. I think he's going to still be alive. No, he finds it just. He home. Okay. Oh, under the tower, in comes the SD with a double raise. A little help from never end. I mean, Pepita's quite farmed, but I don't know if he can take three heroes. Well, he could take two, but the Moose's help, and now ASD. Oh, what an amazing kill for Infamous. Huge, huge never end. Gonna hide in the trees. Now it's two versus one, though, and he isn't quite as strong as he thought he was. But Peter looking to run him down as well. Who comes in from the side with the fortune's end? That's another down. Dead for Phantom Assassin. So, I don't know. Midas is so nerfed right now. It's very equal. <laughs> Alright, they're going to find Ying again. Night, night. 10 and 3. Bends the illusion up. Finds ASD. Oh, with the Nexus help. Not like this. Gross. He pops. Pops a carapace so he couldn't ult. Moo's gonna go and find himself a lion in the trees. Oh, he just ripped him up so fast. Alright, Moo's in a little bit of trouble. They are looking for the dual combo here. They will find it. There's enough backup as well. Lion wishes he has level 6. But they do get the kill. They don't get the dual damage. They may. Okay, another dual on the death prop this time. Throwing the skewer from the top and a raise from the ASD. Another dual victory for Zing Q. Another kill, Lion, he's actually fine Jeeves, is he? Is he really? <laughs> Purifying flames, ladies and gentlemen. I don't grind boots. <laughs> oh, he knows they're coming for him. You are just food, my friend. Gobble, gobble. Hey, where, where did Nyx go? Oh, he's there. E-Home need to apply pressure right now. There it is. They pull them in. They push back with the skewer on. Be a mad wall though to try and save their asses. Neverend is in there trying to do the DPS but just doesn't have enough yet. E-Home's gang will be hunted down. Now ASD being munched up by Mason on the life stealer. The sack will come out of one final right click. They find the kill. The ult is running. And this is going to be a high ground boost. This is a tower in trouble. And they only have two heroes to defend it for whatever crazy ass reason. PA says, no, I need my death. So gold. I'm not gonna buy it back. I can't fight that. They're gonna lose rocks in the bottom. E home just waited just too long, a fraction too long for the uh, for the play there. They needed to go while the mid tower was still about half health. Has Halberd finished up? Now moving on to assault Kuras. Um, looks good. 
PP with the BKB. This is the push in, and here we go. Tomato's ult is running. Stand on top of the tower, Brosif. Honestly, another RP. The skewer bot. This time SF is here, but for whatever reason on the bot side, the duel is happening. Nothing actually getting done damage wise. Up top. Now the real fight breaks out. Never end. Fighting four. Will go down though, and that's GG, boys. Wrap it up. EG, uh, e Homer going home. Yeah, he hoverded that hoverded the PA in amongst of it, so P's in the middle and just can't do it. Infamous. Oh, they are gonna try. Fortification comes through. Bear in mind, they don't have the DPL, it's their big pusher. But I mean, with Mason on the strap, on, on the tower, they should do some damage. Anyone got a, even a dire stone? Like one dire stone? No. They have to back off. Well, it's Megas, boys. Mado. Now we've discussed this. You know, if you stand closer, the tower's already gone, Tomato. If you stand closer, the racks are already gone, Tomato. What are you doing? This is completely it. Like, what are you doing, dude? This is so inefficient. Uh, I don't want to get hit. If I go close, I'll get hit. Oh, they cut the creep wave. Nice. RP on the box side. Finds two. The damage is pouring in. But is it enough? The back wall will come through. Nevren pops the BKB, starts to go to work, tries to find a kill. But everyone's got so much bloody armor, he just can't do anything. He just bounces off. Literally taking no damage. And finally, Eohome will seed. The GG is called. Infamous then. Go through to the next best of three, which will be against the winner. Sorry, the loser of Secret and all right, Infamous Gaming, man of the match here. I gotta give it to Mason.